business news at six continues. New right now at six, it's a complicated day for those keeping a close eye on the Nathan Carmen case. Carmen, who was accused of killing his mom on a fishing trip off Rhode Island, died in jail last week and today was his funeral. Channel 3's Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo was at the service in the Brass City, one of very few people to attend. Light seems brighter when it's reflected off the surfaces of empty pews. Music sounds louder when fewer ears are there to hear it. But a near empty church is all the farewell that Nathan Carmen got at Our Lady of Lords in Waterbury. The 29 year old was federally indicted last year, accused of deliberately sinking a boat in 2016, killing his mother Linda. Prosecutors claim it was a plot to take millions in inheritance money. The case was set to go to trial in a few months. And even from a New Hampshire jail cell, his attorney said Carmen seemed upbeat until he was found dead last week. Now the murder case is dismissed and New Hampshire police are investigating the death. One of his attorneys, Martin Manella, still couldn't confirm if it was suicide. What they've told us is it wasn't suspicious. None of Nathan's family came to claim the remains that were in New Hampshire. His attorney paid for his funeral. Uh, I'm not aware of any family that attended. His father will be here for the burial in July. A criminal case that captured the attention of millions, ending with a funeral that garnered barely a few dozen eyes. It was the least I could do for him. Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.